This is an owner review of the Forest River Ibex 19 QBS. It's 23 feet long, roughly weighs 3,700 pounds, roughly can carry 1,000 pounds, so it's still under 5,000 pounds. Um, the tongue, it's got the uh, electric tongue jack. This one came with one propane tank. I did upgrade to two six volt batteries. And apparently they're supposed to last longer and hold better charges, who knows. Um, battery disconnect. I found these on the internet on Amazon. Battery uh, brackets and then uh, I just have to get a lock. I just got them in the other day. I didn't have time to get a lock for it yet. So that makes me feel more, more comfortable that no one can steal that. Uh, at first I liked the windshield in the front, but then I realized it's basically just like another windshield in a car. And after having it for a week, I already got a chip in it. So I just bought this last Friday. This is my first trip on it. Um, storage, it's got pass-through storage. Pretty roomy in there. Uh, although I don't know why, but they put the uh, inverter inside there, which is almost uh, impossible to get to. Um, Love the rain gutters, except when it's raining and the water drips right on your head when you're opening the um, storage compartment. Here's all that information. So in the front, water hookups. Pretty basic. Typical slide out. In the back here, black tank flush, electrical, cable satellite. Uh, sewer connections. I will say I was kind of, um, I was hoping it would be tall or set off the ground a little bit more. They promote this as kind of like a boondocking off-roading trailer. Um, they said it was, I believe, 13 inches, which is, you know, higher than most trailers in this class. But they didn't account for the, uh, the uh, sewer drain. That's only about 12 inches off the ground. And the stab jacks or leveling jacks, I've already hit a couple of uh, things with them. So just keep that in mind. Um, oh, we found underneath during our walkthrough that the middle roller, I guess, it's hard to see, is um, tearing the underlayment underneath here. I don't think it would ever do any major problem, but yeah, it's warranty. Might as well have them fix it. So there's these little rollers, and the middle one for some reason grabbed uh, this protective material and is tearing it. Um, it was kind of funny. I found the build sheet for this and it said it was supposed to come with an outside shower. Well, there is no outside shower. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure someone forgot to install that. Uh, I doubt if that's a warranty thing. I'm pretty sure the dealership is not going to add an outside shower, but I don't see it being a major deal because it does have a sprayer on the other side. So it's got the, uh, the opening in the rear bumper for the sewer hose. Spare tire, back of the refrigerator. This one's pre-wired for the camera. Stairs to the top. I'll go ahead and go up there. I'm sure I'm gonna shake a lot as I do it. So all the normal stuff up here. Although it did say it has a 100 watt solar panel. This is actually a 190 watt, watt solar panel. Um, way up in the front are the, uh, the Rhino tracks. I will say Forest River has some bad quality control. There's uh, caulking all over the roof. <laughs> the awning, I believe it's 14 feet long. It is great. It's electric. It does have the LEDs in it. Which is pretty bright at night. Asdell Solar cold weather package 19 QBS it's got one of the slam slam doors or whatever it's called or you can't slam it I guess uh, that porch light is very bright here's the sprayer again so I don't really worry too much about an outside shower this thing has tons of pressure electro outlet uh, all the other stuff that comes with a trailer uh, again goes all the way through. This one came with the uh, griddle and uh, quick connect, disconnect, little shelf. This is the table that comes on the inside. Um, obviously this is the exhaust for the heater. It's very hot. 
one thing, but then also it was getting really hot on the table, so I, that's probably a bad idea to leave the table right next to it because it might, I don't know, damage it somehow. Uh, I believe that's outside, all of outside. The steps are the really sturdy ones. It's nice. Coming in, with the refrigerator, the freezer, which has been working great. You can't tell, but it's very cold. Refrigerator, tons of room in here, in my opinion. Uh, fuse box. Control panel up here. I know everybody makes a joke about the bottle opener. I'm not going to make that joke, though. Uh, kitchen. The kitchen is amazing. This thing, I think it's great for this size trailer. Electrical. Top, range top. Doesn't have the little uh, auto, the starter on here, though. You have to use a match. The sink is great. It's huge. Look how big that sink is. And the faucet. Tons of room in this thing. Cabinets up top. Down below, convection oven, more cabinet, pantry. It's got the uh, central vac system. I couldn't find the hose on their website, of course, but it does have the kick pan. Uh, note, I didn't know it, but the central vac only works when it's plugged into electrical. It does not work off the batteries, which isn't really an issue. The heater worked great last night. It got down to 34, and uh, it, it worked great. I was warm. Uh, more cabinets here. Has a safe back in there. It's kind of neat. All of the locks are keyed the same for everything. More storage in here. The frid 12 volt frid uh, TV. Up at the top here, I did when we first got it. Again, we've only had it for a week. This is our first trip. Uh, the plug wasn't working. I opened it up and there was a fuse in there that was blown. In case you ever run into that. So, queen size bed. The mattress was pretty comfortable actually. More cabinets. They have lights in them. The pull down shades uh, are pretty thin. Uh, they do not keep the light out cabinets on each side there's electrical on each side that is the on and off button for the inverter when we first got it we could not it didn't work we couldn't turn the inverter off it was always on and then I crawled into the uh, storage up front where the inverter is and there's actually a button on there that you have to press first it said something about remote on and off switch which is directly related to that switch so once it's turned on then this button will work here and also um, the, the service manager at the dealership uh, said that the inverter only works with that electrical plug. Well, that's not correct. The, with the inverter on, it actually works all of the electrical outlets inside this trailer. And the USB outlet. Don't ask me how long the batteries will last. I don't know yet. And there's tons of electrical all over here, here, here. Each side over here. Storage. Lots of storage. I've seen some of these other models where they have the inverter in here, which I think eventually I'm going to move it in there because it's just on the other side of that wall. So there's a lot of space in here for two people. The slide out has obviously the couch and it folds down, it folds down into a bed. Um, there's storage up above. I'm six foot two and I do not touch the ceiling. I have plenty of room, very comfortable. There's the heat and air conditioning unit, thermostat. The bathroom was the selling point for me. This thing has tons of room. The toilet, I can sit on the toilet and not hit my, my legs, knees, or anything. The shower, I can stand in the shower and not hit my head. It's got the sink. Um, over here, the control units. It's got heated tanks for everything. Solar, it's charging right now. Uh, I think it's charging right now, yeah. And this control unit, I didn't... I thought I knew how these work, but I guess I was wrong. So, heater, hot water heater, and then the water pump. Um, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but the water pump has to be on to pump water, obviously, if you're using the tanks. But if you're plugged into water uh, with a faucet outside, you don't need the water pump on because it already has pressure. Um, all these buttons, everybody knows how those work. The battery I was uh, not 100% sure on. So, if I press the battery button, it goes to F. I assume F is full. I assume L is low. I assume C means it's charging. 
which it seems like it would be at C right now because it is on solar and it's also plugged into a pedestal outside. So someone let me know about that. I don't know what G stands for. Good? I don't know. So anyway, uh, the walls, I don't know. In some places, I don't know if you can tell, but they seem like they're a little cheesy. I'm not complaining, just making the comment. Uh, fan. There's the, the, the plastic cover, but then there's no cover on top of that. So if it rains, you got to close it. Obviously, it's going to leak, at least on this version. Uh, it's got the shower miser system, water miser system. Haven't used it yet. Um, I have found about two or three screws just floating around down on the ground after this one trip. I'm not sure where they came from. Uh, a couple little things, nothing major, but it seems like the caulking should have went through the air. Um, overall, again, it's only the first trip. I mean, this thing is great. And lots of room. Um, I can't really think of anything really to complain about. My biggest thing was, is I, I hope there's not going to be an issue with it being so low to the ground. I've heard people say where they could lift tra trailers by uh, lifting up the axle like they do on vehicles. I don't know if that's an option, but I plan on taking this a lot of off-roading, not to normal campgrounds. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, again, this is the first trip. Uh, we only had it for a week. Um, yeah, thank you.